Hi, this is Darren Lyle. Now that we've finished the inside of the mouth, let's uh, hook it back up to the head. As I mentioned before, I think what I'm going to do is just bridge uh, the mouth back to the head. But first of all, we need to make those two um, all one object. So I'm going to press Alt-H to bring back the other objects. And over here in the outliner, I've labeled my objects here. I've got the main character and I've got the mouth inside here. I've also split out, of course, the teeth uh, for top and bottom. Um, I'm going to keep them like that for now instead of combining them with the rest of the character. So let's see. Let's select the character and the mouth and I'm just going to press Control J to get them back into one character or one object I should say and call that character. Now let's go in and take a look inside here. So now we've got two objects uh, excuse me <laughs> two pieces of one object and I'm going to go into edge mode and I'm going to select this edge and this edge. Now that those two are selected, I can press Control E and bring up this Bridge Edge Loops tool. And theoretically, if I just click this, we're connected back up again. So there you go. That's how to connect the mouth back up with the head. And also taking a look at the teeth here, they may need to move forward just a bit. It's always... Um, uh, difficult to get the teeth up close enough to the back of the of the lips. Um, I've seen so many characters with the teeth way far back from the lips, and that's just not the way it is. But let's see. Let me grab the top teeth here and pull them forward a bit. And for the bottom, <laughs> here it is. It's kind of hard to get in here. For the bottom teeth, I want to pull them forward just a bit, but when I do, they break out of the gums here. So what I can do is just take this edge here and move that forward some. There we go. All right. I think we are good to go with the teeth. Now, while we're here, we could go ahead and create some ears too. The thing about the character is that it doesn't have really ears per se. It's got a, a little helmet. Um, but it might not be a bad thing to go ahead and create some small cartoony ears, um, even though we're going to put a helmet on the guy after a while. So let's see how we might do that. Now generally speaking, the ears begin kind of at the bottom of the nose and end around the top of the eyes, generally. <laughs> but this is a cartoon character, so I'm not going to worry too much about that. Um, I think I'm going to grab these two faces for this. Um, and all I'm going to do is just extrude out a few times and um, just pull some points and get a very simple cartoon ear going, just in case he's ever without his helmet. But generally speaking, I think he's always going to have that on. So from here, I'm going to hit E for extrude. And I'll go straight to my move tool and pull that out just a little bit. And maybe bring it up some and just kind of adjusting as I go here. All right. So now I'm going to extrude again pull straight out. All right, so, so far this is what I have. And I'm going to extrude one more time and pull straight out again. And this time I'm going to scale this in some. All right, it's looking kind of poofy and <laughs> kind of goofy. But let's begin pulling some points here and seeing what we can accomplish.
So now that I've pulled some points, this is what I have so far. And it's getting there. It's still a little bit not exactly the way I'd want it. But let's now go into face mode and just select these four faces at the front of the ear. And I'm going to extrude and go straight to my scale tool and scale this down and pull it back some. So we get a general shape like this. So that's generally what I'm going for here. Just very simple cartoony ears. Now of course I'd take some time and pull some points around for this. So that's how I would create cartoony ears. Well our character is looking pretty good so far. I think all that's left of the base character now is just the eyes. And maybe we'll take a look at the eyes in the next video. See you then.